Good morning and welcome to circle time. Sue, come out and say hello to our friends. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Good morning, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I hope you are too. I'm fine, I'm fine. I hope you are too. Well, Sue, today we are going to talk about under and over the snow. We're going to have so much fun making a ski racer and we'll even do something fun with inclined planes and I'll tell you what that means. Right now though, Sue, I need for you to sit down because it's time for us to feed Fred. Hi, Fred the fish. Fred is in the schoolhouse. I saw him swim out earlier. So if we keep watching, I bet we'll see him soon. While we're waiting for Fred to decide to swim out, let's turn around and do our calendar time. The month is January. Can you say January? Let's reach into our can and see how we will count. We're gonna hop like a bunny rabbit. So are you ready to hop and count? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 28, 29, 30, 31. Shoo, that was a lot of hopping and counting. Today is January 31st. Can you say that? January 31st. It is the last day of January. So tomorrow, all of these numbers will disappear and we'll have a brand new month, February. Okay, let's go all the way up, up, up to the top of our calendar and see what day it is. Today starts with the letter T. T says t, 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 like a ticking clock. So what day is it today? It's Tuesday, t, t, Tuesday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, let's check our weather. Will you look outside your window and see what your weather's like today? Maybe your weather is rainy or snowy or sunny or cloudy. What's your weather like today? When I do like this with my microphone, shout it out. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is, it is, it is out today. It is, it is, it is out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. Weather Bear, we're gonna put on something warm for you today. We're gonna put on some pants and a long sleeved shirt and a coat and a hat. What season is it right now? The season is winter. Very good. That was our calendar and weather time. And now it's time for letter of the day. Today's letter is the letter U. If your name has letter U, stand up. 
If your name has letter U, stand up. If your name has letter U, if your name has letter U, if your name has letter U, stand up. Well, today U is for under and over the snow. So I decorated my letter U like this. Let me turn it this way so you can see that this is the letter U. What letter is this? U. Well, if I turn it uh, uh, upside down, U is for upside down, I can make it look like the little rabbit that I drew is under the snow. So I just drew some blue lines to look like snow and snowflakes around. And then just a little bunny, he's under the snow in his little burrow. So that's how I decorated my U. I turned it upside down. So now that we can recognize letter U, let's practice writing it. To write letter U, we're gonna start at the top. We're gonna go down and curve around and then right back up to the top. Down and curve around and up. Do you wanna practice writing letter U? You can start at the top, go down and curve around and then go right back to the top. Down and curve around and to the top. Down, curve around and up. Okay, that's how you make a big letter U. To make a little letter U, you do the same thing, but with a little difference at the end. So down and curve around and up, but then you're gonna fall straight down. Let's practice that one. Down, curve around, up, and then straight back down. Little U goes downstairs if you're using handwriting paper. So make sure you put little U downstairs. Down, curve around, up and down. Down, curve around, up and down. That is the little letter U. Well, I would love to check and cheer for you. Would you like to show your letter U's? Great work. Wow, I'm gonna give you a sticker. Here it comes, very, very good. Well, now we know what U looks like. We know how to write letter U, so it's time to talk about the sound that U makes. Letter U is one of those special letters we call the vowels. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I owe you, these are the vowels. Well, the vowels are special because every word must have one. If it doesn't have a vowel, then it's not a real word in English. It's just letters stuck together. So every time we learn about a vowel, we get a visit from one of the vowel people and here he comes. Uh-oh, he doesn't look like he's feeling very well. This is my friend, you and he has a tummy ache. He ate too many sweet treats like ice cream and cupcakes and cake and candy and donuts. And now he has a tummy ache and he says, oh, oh, oh. Can you do that? Put your hand on your tummy and say, oh, oh, oh. He has a tummy ache. He ate too many ice cream cones, too many pieces of cake, too many cupcakes with cherry on top. And now he says, oh, 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 he has a tummy ache. Can you see letter U hiding in the picture? It's his tummy. So when you see a letter U, I hope it will remind you of my friend U's full tummy and then you'll remember that you says what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, very, very good. Well, it's time for us to do something special for art. So let's head to the art table and we're gonna make a little ski racer.
For art today, we're going to make a ski racer. I'm going to put the link below, parents, so you can get a copy of The Little People, or you could just draw your own. So all you have to do is decide, do you want the little boy ski racer or the one that is a little girl? And I chose the little girl, so I, you can see I've already colored and cut her out. The next thing you need to do is take popsicle sticks and glue or tape those to each of her feet or his feet. And then for the little sticks that are in her hands, I use toothpicks, but you could also use spaghetti noodles. If you have some spaghetti, you can just break a piece of spaghetti and make the two little sticks from spaghetti noodles. So there you have it. We made a little ski racer. We're gonna take her over to back to the classroom and we're going to do a little fun activity for science with inclined planes. Well, here is my little ski racer. And you can make both of them if you want to and you could really let them have a race because we're going to make an inclined plane. That might sound like something complicated, but actually it's not. I just have a simple wooden board. You could even use a book or a piece of cardboard. Just put one end higher than the other end and you have an inclined plane. An inclined plane is a simple machine. It's something that helps us do work, but it doesn't have any moving parts. So let's put our little ski racer at the top and let's watch her ski down the inclined plane. Ready, go! <laughs> that was so fun. So an inclined plane is just, it's kind of like a ramp. It's just something that is higher on one end than the other end. Let's test out some other things on this incline plane. Let's choose a tennis ball. I bet this will go down really fast, don't you? Three, two, one. Whoa, that did go really fast. Let's try this little rubber ducky. <laughs> Here he goes. Whee! Let's try this block. I wonder if it will go as fast as the ball. Hmm. Oh, it went pretty fast. Maybe not quite as fast as the ball, but the incline plane is helping me do the work. I don't have to push or pull these things. They just roll all on their own. There's Fred, by the way. Fred's peeking out. He's trying to see what we're doing. Fred, we're doing incline plane practice. We're going to try this egg. Whoa, that one rolled really well. And I bet Thomas the train will go really fast too. Let's try it. Whoa. Wow, he was super fast. Okay, let's try one more thing. Why don't we try a marker? Here we go. Whee! So that was so much fun. We made a little ski racer and we talked about inclined planes and we'll let her ski down the slopes today for some fun activity time. I'll see you tomorrow, everyone. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye, Sue. Give a little wave. Give a little wave. Give a little wave. It's time to say goodbye. Blow a kiss. Blow a kiss. Blow a kiss. It's time to say goodbye. See you tomorrow.